Okay, Jess, we're going to quickly cover how to do sharpening in DaVinci Resolve. If you pick your clip like we do here, and we'll jump over to a color tab. We've got our first node for color correction. Let's add a new node with Alt S or Option S if you're on a Mac. And then down here, you, it's usually on this one, but this is your selector, this is your power windows. This one here with the triangle and the drop, it's actually blur and sharpen. And really just on this one here, you can select blur, sharpen or mist. Just leave it on blur and radius. If you drag this down, if we zoom in here on her, well, you can see what happens if we drag this down. Whoa, she gets like really sharp now. So that's, you know, you can really overdo this. Uh, so we'll just reset that. I would recommend not going below 46. You can see here that's sharpened unsharpened, sharpened, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but if you go too heavy it just looks awful as you can see. So going there and that of course will sharpen the whole frame. So we go down like this, everything, the door and everything and also the noise in the image gets sharpened so you got to be careful about that. So I would say don't go below 47, 46, that's probably as much as you want to go and that just adds a little bit of sharpening to the frame. All right, the other way to do it, which is more specific, is you say, well, what are we focusing on? We're focusing on this person's face while she's talking. So we just want to sharpen her face. So you can see her face moves around there. So we're going to go to the beginning of the clip there, and we're going to go to this window here, which is our power window. So when we click that and we select the circle, the circle appears on screen like this and you can see this is what it's affecting. There's gray areas means it's not going to affect it and the part that you can see is going to affect. So I'm going to make this kind of face shaped and I'm also going to, this is the feather area and this is the area of the thing and I'm also going to tilt it because her head is tilted so I'm going to tilt it this way so it's in line with her face. I'm going to put it right over her face. Then I'm going to go down to this one with the crosshairs which is tracker and I'm going to track forward. There it is and you can see she moves her face but it sticks to her face. Now once that's done I can select this and I can go to the blur and sharpen and now if we zoom in here you can watch the door and everything but we can sharpen her face and you see the door is not getting sharpened because what's getting sharpened is only what's inside that frame. We can make this really horrible and thing, and you'll see the background is not affected. We can blur her, and you can see quite clearly it's just her face that's getting blurred. So we subtly sharpen her face there, and of course the sharpened will follow her face because we tracked it. Okay, so without the power window, if we just delete that, it sharpens the whole frame like that. And remember, be careful of the noise because that will sharpen as well. Or we can use the power window and sharpen just the area we want.